Hi, my name is Robert Collins from Long Beach, Mississippi, and I'm doing this video on how to light a smoker for the University of Florida's IFAS Master Beekeeping Program, the Apprentice Beekeeper level. So what we do, we start with our cold smoker, we open up, and we get something that's to start a hot flame. Newspaper will do. Light it here, keep it out of the wind. Get it going really good. Push that down. Get that going. And we put another piece of our flammable in here. Get it going, that good thick smoke. And you see some flames, okay. Then we take our smoldering material. In this case, I'm using cotton seed which is a byproduct of the cotton ginning process. When they separate the cotton from the seeds, this is what's left over. So we wanna make use of everything we can. <coughs> Get the smoker good and hot. It's also coming out of the bottom. So. And move that material around. So, see if we can get it going this way. It's starting to come out of the spout. There we go. Come on. Mostly won't come out of the bottom right now. Get a little more oxygen up here and away for the smoke to travel up. There we go. Because I had it packed a little too tight. So here we go. Get that coming up. Yeah, that's, that's cold. Okay, so let's sit here, keep it burning for a little bit. Um, so basically, what I, I believe I missed on my first video was talking about a few things. Um, propolis, when I broke the seal on the inner cover, and even when I had to break the seal on the the frames that holding it together was propolis. It's uh, bees go out, collect sap and resin from trees and plants, and they make propolis. It's their glue. They seal up anything that's less than three eighths of an inch. They seal it up with propolis to kind of keep the hive healthy because it's antibiotic and antiviral, and uh, it's like a glue. So it seals up all the cracks and holes where air can come in and keeps the hive at the temperature they need it. So that was propolis. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What else I look for? Um, I didn't see the queen, didn't find her, but she is, looks, she's about the size of a drone. She's a little bigger than the, the other workers, uh, longer, maybe a little fatter, and she's going around laying eggs in the cells. I did not see her, didn't see eggs, or uh, I saw pupa and, lar and cat larva. All the cat larva, sorry, all the cat pupa I saw was worker, female pupa, uh, and all the larva we saw was going to be female too. Um, we did not see any drone pupa or in their cells and what you can tell those is instead of being flat in the cell it's um they're a little bit raised about that far up raised and, and kind of textured and bumpy you find that uh we found a queen cup i thought i'd point it out but i guess i didn't found a queen cup and it basically looks like at start it looks like a uh, dirt dauber or mud dauber's nest those little spherical balls of mud they make uh, that's kind of what it looked like, but it was wax. There was, wasn't an egg in there, so they're not getting ready to make a queen. If they were making a queen, they would do it around another egg or have the queen lay an egg there, and then they would extend it out to where it looks like a peanut is stuck on the side of the frames. So that's uh, one way to see if there was a queen cell. Um, like I said, I didn't see any eggs, but my video videographer, my wife, Jane, she said she saw eggs in there, but I, I didn't see them, so I didn't point those out. If I'd seen them, they would look like a grain of rice, but very, very small, smaller than a grain of rice. Uh, first day, they'd be standing straight up after 
I think the second, third day, the third day, they would fall over, lay over, and um, start turning. Then the worm, the larva would hatch out to almost like a worm, and then develop from there into another, to a big larva and then to a pupa, and they would cap it over. So uh, that's what I found in there. Um, got the smoker lit. It is putting out smoke from both ends, but it's doing it. And if it did it right, it would stay lit for, I mean, at least 10 minutes, maybe more, hopefully an hour or so. And when that cotton, when that cotton seed catches, starts smoldering, that will really be smoke. It's doing good now. So, um, uh, I was trying to see if there's anything else I forgot. Uh, I've got my PPE gear, got my jacket, my veil, which I'll put on in a bit, and my gloves. Uh, oh, today is January 3rd, 2022. My other video I did on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2022, and what a difference two days makes. Uh, it was 74 degrees. The bees were out and buzzing about. Today, it is 47 degrees here in the late afternoon, around 4.15, 4.30. Uh, and winter has decided to finally come for this day or two. So uh, the bees are in there. I'm not gonna not gonna break into them now because that would be bad. Uh, they're all clustered around the queen, stay warm, keeping the the brood that's in there warm. And I, we don't want to do that. That would be bad. The bees would have a bad time. So and we would too. <laughs> They'd be mad. But uh, anyway, that's what we're doing. The smoker's lit and going. See and smoke a little more and get it going some more but that's it when it's over i will put this um repurposing a wine bottle stopper uh they're um vinyl they're whatever they are silicon silicon and uh just put it on there and it will stop that and lay it on its side and it'll be okay but like i said it's still going i'll show you i can put my gear on <clears throat> and might mess up the microphone, but just zip it because we're not going to get into bees today. But this is how I would do it put the hat on, my bed on, <clears throat> my gloves on. Oh, that is cold. That leather's cold. It's been sitting out in the shed all night. Where it was almost it's 32 degrees this morning when we got up so yeah this this uh this leather on these gloves is very cold but if we got to do for the bees we got to do it for the bees <clears throat> so that's it and i would make sure i have my hive tool and my lit smoker which is still going come on here it's still going so uh and it will catch up as I keep puffing. So, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you got something out of this, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Bye.